Hi, everyone. My name is Kevin Luzong, and I'm joined by my teammates, Ali Henry, Henry Kosh, and Rose Southern. We'd like to welcome you all to the year 2050. Let's take a look at the UBC campus around us. SkyTrain has been providing service to campus for a number of years, which has allowed UBC to achieve its sustainable transportation goals. With the introduction of autonomous vehicle technology, as well as the rise in popularity of active transportation modes, the road network around campus has changed. Motor vehicle travel lanes are much narrower and there's more street space allocated for walking, e-scooters and e-bikes. Look up in the sky and you'll see several drones delivering packages along with a few people in flying vehicles. In addition, distance learning by way of telecommuting has become a much more popular option among students. Now, let's come back to the present day and learn more about how we got to this future. We've been working with our partners, UBC Campus and Community Planning to envision the year 2050. Through this studio project, we had the opportunity to think outside of the box and explore various hypothetical transportation and land use scenarios. Our goal was to create big move recommendations that are intended to help inform campus and community planning's long range transportation and land use planning activities. We'll now take you through the project steps. We began our process with information gathering and analysis in order to better understand transportation on campus today and how broad mobility trends may evolve by 2050. We then kicked off our second term by hosting an interactive workshop with campus and community planning staff to develop future transportation networks for campus that we then used as a tool to better inform our final recommendations. Following this workshop, we analyzed all the information generated over the past eight months and they collaborated with our partners to develop five big move recommendations, which Henry will now take us through. Thanks, Kevin. So our first big move recommendation is to enhance pedestrian priority areas. The campus can work to enhance the pedestrian experience through creating greater restrictions on vehicle access, leveraging development to improve the interaction between the built form and pedestrian areas, and adding additional public realm and weather protective infrastructure. Recommendation two is to increase active transportation infrastructure on campus. This includes increasing infrastructure to physically separate active transportation from vehicles, improving end of trip facilities, providing longer term parking options for cycling, and managing curb space to accommodate micromobility parking corrals. Recommendation three is to strengthen the intracampus transit network on campus. This recommendation is for UBC to complement the arrival of SkyTrain by strengthening local transit service on campus, potentially with a local rapid transit service that could complement SkyTrain. We also recommend that the campus explore dedicated transit right of ways and to locate more development near transit. Recommendation four is to improve street connectivity across campus. As UBC's built environment continues to grow and evolve into the future, we recommend that campus leverage new development to improve street network connectivity, imparting a connected street network of small blocks. We also recommend that they better link on-campus neighborhoods and off-campus routes and continue to develop strategies to encourage safe streets. Our fifth and final big move recommendation is to develop a broader TDM program. We recommend that funding and staffing resources are increased to expand UBC's TDM program, which can then implement new policies and incentive programs to discourage single occupancy vehicle trips. So looking ahead, this work is intended to help inform campus and community planning's future land use and transportation planning initiatives. However, recognizing the uncertainties of UBC's future land use and mobility needs, it will be vital for campus efforts to remain flexible and resilient while planning for the year 2050. In closing, on behalf of our team, we'd like to take this opportunity to recognize our partners at UBC's campus and community planning, particularly Leah Gouditis, Adam Hislop, and Joanne Prof for their collaboration. We'd also like to thank our SCARP advisor, Megan Senbell, for his continued guidance throughout the course of our studio project. It has been a pleasure sharing our work with you today and planning in these times of great uncertainty. We will leave you with the words of Daniel Burnham.
make big plans, aim high and hope and work, remembering that a noble logical diagram once recorded will not die. Thank you.